Okay, down here, that jumps. Uh, I didn't used to do that, but anyway, the way, the way the settings are. I had to put them back on default because the app kept crashing when I set it the way I wanted it. So I put the um, newer rotor back in there. This is the older one. It, I don't think, I don't know if you can really see it, but... To me, I mean, it seems to show signs of somewhere. I've, oddly, though, I can feel that shaft uh, went up and down a little on the newer one. So I think the bushings are more were made, you know, poor, poorer bushings, and they're less, they're more wear out on a two-year-old one than on a, about a fifteen-year-old one. Um, so uh, that's, what, but still, I thought that it would uh, resist me stopping it better with this one. So let's plug it in and see. I got my little jumper wire because the thermal fuse is bad. Okay, now it's going. Ah, there's no difference there. I can stop it really easy. Of course, I'm not, you know, I mean, not have never done doing it to it when it was brand new. I have no idea. It's already beginning to show little signs of red down there. And I think I've figured out from fooling with this. <coughs> This thermal fuse, you know, there's all different kinds of things like this, and I'm just now really learning about them anyway. I think it does more than just blow when things are over current or overheating. I think it's like a little thermostat in itself. I believe, I, th I think what it does is uh, when it gets to a certain temperature, it opens up like that, and then when it cools back down, it closes. And uh, inside of there, inside of that barrel, and uh, and then if it gets too bad, it it burns it up, you know, in there. But um, so I think that's how it regulates the temperature because otherwise, just sitting there just for uh, you know not even a full minute of it running, those things were getting glowing red. And if it was sitting there running, I mean the fan would cool it. Of course, if the fan was running, it would help cool it, but. It's still going to overheat, so got to have a way to th uh, regulate the temperature. I was thinking, well, those things, you know, that just blow out are crappy anyway. I'd like to have like a reset switch or something in there. Yeah, you wouldn't want to just put a reset switch in there. That'd be dumb. I wouldn't do that anyway. Not with something like this. If it's something that you could watch and see, you know, you had it out in a safe place. But this is going to be back up in the in the you know in the attic of the bathroom in the roof of the bathroom in which you know the box is setting up in the attic and, um, and that's I'm just gonna I probably just gonna end up just spending sixty three dollars like I did last time two years ago this one lasted about fifteen years the other one here lasted about a year a little over a year year and a half last winter we had to use a space heater and this winter we're already doing that and uh, but the parts are so expensive. I mean, you can buy the whole thing, a heater, the light, and a fan with the box and everything. Of course, I just used the original box. This is the Braun 655 is what it is. I never did say the model. But, I mean, I don't like things that only last, you know, a year and a half. The warranty's only a year on the heater, I guess. I guess that's the only... I don't know. They got it kind of separated out on there. But I found the, the warranty deal and the heater's what was what I, what's broke. Everything else works, the, the exhaust fan and the light works so and I've got two that are like that now so um, neat little squirrel cage and the new one looks kind of cool you know it's all clean but uh, if you had some good motors you could make some pretty good little fans couldn't you make good little heaters but you're still gonna have to spend the cheapest I've found these th uh, thermal thermal fuses or thermal link, they call them. Some one site called them thermal links. Generally, everybody called them thermal fuses. Uh, ten dollars with free shipping. The others are anywhere between six something and ten, eight, eight ten dollars with six six or eight dollars shipping. So, you, you know. But yeah, there's no point in spending that. Even even though now I know this would work, it doesn't have much power. Uh, and then I'll spend 10 bucks on a fuse and then maybe the motor, you know, works. Maybe it wouldn't even, I mean, I can put it back together and see that it'll spin the, how well it'll spin the, uh, 
the ca squirrel cage. But I don't think it'd be spinning it all that great. I mean, it'll spin it, but I don't think it'll have enough power to... It, it, lack of power tells me that it's probably uh, wearing on out. The... the uh, I don't know. When motors get older, I mean, all they are here is electromagnet windings in here and, you know... I mean, of course, these and this one, they got, they have an open circuit. They're, it's bad. So I don't, I don't really know what it is about them that makes them. Uh, uh, I mean, this is a cool design, and when they were made well back in the day, these things would last 35 years. You know, these motors like this. But um, it's cool that you can work on it. You know, things are, you, you don't find much stuff that you can work on anymore. But when they're made out of poor materials. Of course, I've seen people on YouTube show you how to rewind them and everything. You can buy this wire. It's not all that expensive. But it's not something I'd want to get into, I don't think. But, you know, that's all there. I've seen people make this stuff from scratch. People are really into, like, design, redesigning motors and stuff. But, but you know, if you, you could tear that off of there and rewind it. So I, what I'm getting at is I don't know what really deteriorates. I mean, I can see, you know, getting overheated and, and burning in two, but I don't, you know, if it's working, then why, why does it lose power? That's what I'm saying. Well, they lose power when they're worn and, and they get friction, but I've, I've swapped out these, you know, actually this one has less, like I said, less. This one gives a little wobble. I don't know if I can show that. This is the newer one. Anyway, I can feel it. The other one, it doesn't move. You wiggle it, it doesn't move. So I'm going to put it back in there. It's the best one. And it's the oldest one. About 15 years old, better than 2 years old. Isn't that something? But bushings wise, what I'm talking about. The bushings in there. Alright. Bye bye for now. I don't know if I'll, I guess I'll be back on this. I don't know. I guess I'll come back when I decide exactly what I'm going to do. But. But I, I'm going to have to just, it, it, the, the buying the parts separately, like buying this or buying this in a thermal fuse, you're still going to spend $50, $55. I mean, for 60, 63 something, 63 and change, buy the whole thing, might as well get the whole thing. So anyway.